Kim's still getting birthday gifts. Huh, princess? Who's that? No, that's not. Is that Moana? Oh, it is Moana. You're right. <gasps> What's Pika. that? Pika. Paw Patrol. Pika. Trolls. Pika. You never seen trolls. That's cool. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. It's so pretty. I love these colors. Is there anything else? Vampirina, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You're just gonna walk around and carry that? Yeah. That's your favorite one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my mistake. It wasn't actually her birthday gifts. Those were um, Christmas gifts. Sorry. Yeah, those were from Christmas. Um, we do like, well, back home, Tony's family. I say my family, I say we, but it's it's Tony's side of the family. They um, We each pull names of a child, and then we have like a big family dinner every year and give the gift to the child whose name we pulled. And even though we moved here to Texas, they continue to include our girls in the names, even me, me, and Ima, which I love so much. So yeah, those weren't birthday gifts. But I say that it's birthday because it's all kind of around the same time, so... And she doesn't get it, you know. She just knows she got a gift. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for loving my kids, loving my family, loving my nieces. I love you all so much. So, thank you to the Islars. Yay. Got it. She looks What's that? My neck. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I love you. Say happy birthday. These are my gifts from the lovely Missy Miss. You guys know her as Missy Lynn. I know if y'all been around for a while, you know that's my babe. We got this awesome palette. I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. This great book. And then, of course, this one. Tony and I have this. Um, so I'm going to be giving this away really soon. So I guess stay tuned for that. But I don't think she wrote it. In. Yeah. So it's awesome. These are some awesome gifts. And she also got us. She also got us a gift card for a date night. And she's going to watch the girls. That was the promise. Right? Auntie Missy said she's going to watch y'all, right? Why? Obsessed. Look at these gorgeous colors. Gorgeous. Hey, 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 you don't touch this. Oh, sorry, mommy. Sorry, mommy. Oops. Mommy got me out the house. It's my birthday. Hey to you. Happy birthday, dear Bree. Cha, cha, cha. And happy birthday. <laughs>
beautiful. Okay. What you singing? Ava. Uh oh, Ava. Yeah. It was nine. It was. No, what number is that? Three. Three. Because how old is Cam? Three. Three. That's from your what? We had that at your what? Birthday. Yes, yeah, from your birthday party. You love this three? Mm -hmm. And I get that. I gotta tack it down. <laughs> Say hi to the fan. Hi. Hi, fan. Mm -hmm. No, don't act shy. Say hi to the fan. Princess, princess, why are you doing this nastiness? Mm. Carter, mm. what are you doing? Mm. Are you cooking? Mm. So disgusting. <clears throat> Good thing mommy and daddy bleached that nice and fresh and clean. Where's your sock? Come here. Where's your sock? <laughs> hey, where's your sock, little girl? Where's your sock, little girl? <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Say, I love you. <laughs> You, I love you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Say night night. Hey y'all, I'm sleep training Carter. So Carter is almost 14 months and it's past time for her to be sleeping in her crib in her room now. Um, so this past weekend, Tony put her crib into her room. We took it out of our room. Um, she hasn't really been sleeping in her crib for the last several months now, since like Thanksgiving. She's been in the bed with us um, because she had gotten eesh, earlier than Thanksgiving, maybe even like the beginning of, of October. She got a really bad cold. She was really congested and I wanted to hear her breathe. So I had her sleeping in the bed with me um, and Tony, obviously, and it just was a really bad idea um, for the those of you guys who've been with us forever now. Um, Y'all remember Cam, um, I sleep trained Cam when she was nine months old and she was fully trained by 10 months old. Um, and so Carter now at almost 14 months old, she's way past due. Um, and Tony and I, we don't get the kind of sleep that we need um, because she's not a little baby on the bed. She's like a big kid you know so she's like flapping and kicking and fighting us and we have a nice big king size bed but it ain't big enough for all three of us you know so it's time for her to be in her bed and she um this week i've been working on helping her figure out how to soothe herself self-soothe um and fall asleep on her own at nap time and then we've still been letting her sleep with us at bedtime um, just because I didn't want to like throw her out there all the way. And I did the same thing with Cam when she was a baby. Um, except I did the opposite. When Cam was a baby, I did bedtime sleep training and nap time with uh, with me, like on my bed. And um, it worked out really well. Like I said, it only took about two weeks. And I put Carter in her crib. Yesterday, I let her fall asleep out here in the living room. Then I put her in her crib when she fell asleep. Well, today, I decided to put her in her bed. Like, she's super sleepy. Her nap time was 30 minutes ago, and she's still awake. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to put you in your crib. You know, her sister went to her bed, and Carter went to her bed, and Cam cries for like, five or ten minutes at nap time most days um so it was perfect timing to put carter in her crib um their rooms are next door to each other and so they could cry and listen to each other cry and then hopefully both fall asleep well cam decided that i guess since she heard carter crying she would cry a little bit longer today so cam cried for like 15 minutes which is 
absurd for Cameron Giselle. Like, really, it's absurd. Um, but I guess she heard her sister, so she sang along. That's what they do. They feed off of each other. If I'm doing Cam's hair, Cam cries, Carter cries. Carter could be walking by, and she sees her sister cry, she cries. So they heard each other crying. They both cried. Cam started to die down crying. I went in to check on Carter just to let her know, you know, I'm not gone. I'm right outside the door. You know, you have to, like, reassure the baby. The same things I did with Cam. I hugged her, I kissed her, I put her back in her crib, I turned the light back off, and I walked out. She screamed again for like three more minutes, and now it's quiet. She's asleep, and Cam is asleep. And I am so happy because when I tried to do this with Cam, like I said, she was far younger, and Cam cried for hours legit hours and I was so afraid because I just didn't want my baby I didn't want her to go through that I, it I would stand outside her door and cry like I hated the process of sleep training but I know that if you don't encourage your children to be independent early you know you could be setting yourself up for a lot of other issues further on down the line and you know, obviously I know that everyone has their own methodology on how to do this. I've read books about it when Cam was little. Um, and this time I just I just really wanted to go with my instinct and really trust myself as a mother. Um, when I made the decision to do it for Carter, like I said, Carter is a wild sleeper. She needs to be in her own bed. Um, and so it's beyond time. You know, it's time. And I'm really, really proud of her. So Carter, when you get older and you see this, Mommy is so proud of you. You're doing amazing in your bed. And I think that you're going to love having your own room. Like, this is really cool. And the great thing is I've been getting her acclimated to the room all week. I've been redecorating and trying to reorganize. Because literally, our bedroom was consumed with our kids' stuff. Like, there's, there were, you know, drawers. I had, you know, drawers in the room that I kept her sleepers and stuff in. There was an organizer for, like receiving blankets and towels and socks and like it was not just Tony and I's room anymore it was Tony me and Carter's room and it it was cool when she was a newborn or like a smaller baby but now she has so much more stuff and our room was just becoming consumed by kid stuff and that's not sexy you know what I mean so it's time and I'm so happy that we did this um it hurts my heart it really it pains me when I have to hear her cry or either of them cry, obviously. Um, Cam is a little bit more, I'm a little bit more, I have tougher skin with Cam um, at bedtime and nap time because a lot of times, I mean, she's a toddler. You know how toddlers are. Like, everything is wrong when it's time to go to bed. My tooth hurts, my eye itch, my ear is tickling, you know, my knee, say goodnight to my baby doll, hug my teddy bear. Like Cam says all kinds of foolishness to keep you in the room with her at bedtime. She does, as do most toddlers. So I have thicker skin with Cam. I'm just like, no, good night, you know, and I let her cry and it always ends and she goes to sleep and it's a great night. But Carter's like, the baby you know she's still a little one and I don't want her to feel like I've alienated her but I know that this is good for her brain too you know I'm going to be getting ready to potty train her in a couple of months yes I said a couple of months I do not um if at all possible want to be changing diapers beyond 16 or 17 months she'll be 14 months in another week and yeah by about 15 months I introduced pottying and then by 16 months I it's it's real it gets real it's boot camp and Cam was fully potty trained by 17 months fully potty trained which means she wore um panties during the day and pull-ups at night now she will still have accidents at night which I totally am okay with but she did not have any accidents in her panties um she had she had two um, in the first week or two after she was potty trained, but nothing else beyond that. So, yeah, I'm kind of a stickler about it. And so getting her brain, like, around the independent realm is important to me. Um, and she seems to be doing really well. So hopefully we can get her to do this again um, tomorrow. Like I said, I'm just doing nap time this week and then starting... 
um, Sunday since Tony works from home on Monday um, I will um, put her in her bed at night Sunday night and we're gonna see how it works so today um, was a good day love you Carter I know you think mommy's so mean I'm so sorry I had to put you down but I love you and you're doing great and we will do this again tomorrow and before you know it you'll be going to sleep all by yourself and you'll be going potty all by yourself just like your big sister Love you.